gonna share with you the five simple steps to fix your screen. For materials, you're gonna need some new screen and some spline. If it's your first time repairing screens, I'm gonna recommend you go with fiberglass over aluminum. It's a lot easier to work with the fiberglass and it's a bit cheaper as well, so that's nice. I ended up just grabbing one of the uh, all-in-one combo kits that comes with the screen, spline, and the little roller. Now for tools, you're gonna need the spline roller, an X-Acto knife, a flathead screwdriver, and some side cutters will be handy to cut the spline at the very end. So in order to get the screen out, you're gonna to need to pull out the entire spline. To do that, grab your flathead screwdriver, find the part of the spline that was cut at the very end. It's gonna be easiest to start there. Dig that out, and then once you can get a bit of the screen pulled away, you can kind of work the screen and use it as a bit of leverage to help get the spline out. I found this worked pretty well for this screen. So pull out that spline, rip out the screen, Go back and clean out any of the loose bits that are left over in the frame. So the next thing that we're going to want to do here is cut the screen to size. To do that, we're going to need a nice flat, clean work surface that we can cut and do with the X-Acto knife. So roll out the screen and then throw the frame over top and go ahead and cut that about one inch over size on all of the sides. Now when it comes to installing the spline, this is where things get tricky. So you want to just lay the screen on top of the frame and it should be laying pretty flat. I found it was pretty useful to take that little roller and take the convex side and just kind of crease the uh, screen a little bit into the groove. You don't want to get too carried away and push it all the way down, but just go ahead and crease that one side where you're starting. That'll help kind of hold it in place and then push in right at the start of the corner. So then once you've got about a foot pushed in with kind of finger pressure, grab the spline roller and start pushing the spline down deep into the groove there, and then work your way along. It can be a little bit tricky, but you'll get the hang of it. And the only thing that you're looking for here is that the screen is not getting bunched up with wrinkles. You don't really wanna be pulling the screen tight because you'll see as you start turning the corner, the spline is going to stretch the screen out as you go. So then when you get to the corner, you don't have to cut the spline. You can just turn the corner in one continuous piece. Obviously, you can't roll around the corner, so you will need to get the little uh, flathead screwdriver to just push the corner in once you've gone around. So work your way around. Again, just pushing it in kind of finger tight and then using the spline tool to roll it in deeper. Now, as you're coming around the opposite side, the last thing you wanna do is start pulling the screen too tight because it's gonna bend the frame. The frame is pretty flimsy and you'll see as you go and you push the spline in, it slightly pulls the screen over and it snugs everything up pretty nicely. The only thing you wanna avoid is just having any parts of it bunched up because that's not gonna look nice. So keep working your way along. And then when you get to the final strip where you're meeting back into where you've joined, push it in finger tight and then roll it right up with the tool, right up to where you need to make the cut and then cut it slightly shorter than you would think. I found using side cutters was a nice way to cut it at this point. I don't think you really wanna get the X-Acto knife in there in the case that you might just cut the screen. Now that you've got the spline nicely installed, so next is to cut the screen and to do that, grab the X-Acto knife. You wanna be very careful. What you wanna do here is just make sure you have a nice fresh blade and then you're gonna to wanna to ride that right along the spline at a bit of an angle and just kind of ride it along the spline and cut out the screen. It's gonna be tricky around the corners. Take your time, don't get frustrated at the corners. Sometimes the screen fibers end up getting jammed into the little frame. Take your time. You might have to cut out each little fiber as you go around the corners, but don't get frustrated because you don't want to get a snag in the screen. So take your time with that. And then once that's all cut out, now grab the spline roller and then check out any parts that might not have gotten pushed in all the way. Grab the roller, push it in all the way, grab the flathead screwdrivers, tuck on all four corners and you're good to go. The screen is ready to install.
And while we're talking about fixing things, if you're having trouble with any of your doors, I got the perfect playlist for you right there. And a special shout out to my amazing mother-in-law for supplying the damaged screens. She's always taking care of us, so it was nice to do something in return. Thanks for watching.